Forbes magazine is out with its annual list of the world's most powerful women. Topping that list for a second year in a row, Ursula von der Leyen, which is the president of the European Commission. Christine Lagarde, president of the World Bank, ranks second, followed by U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, Forbes says it considers several different factors to arrive at these rankings. And then we look at the spheres of influence. Are you running a sizable business? Are you operating in a space that affects the way consumers are interacting with the world? Are you shaping consumer beliefs and cultural beliefs? Are you shaping political fights? Are you making decisions that impact people around the world? Now, Taylor Swift, you may not think of being on that list, but she's the youngest member on that list, coming in at number five. Beyonce jumped to number 36 from 80th place last year. And even Barbie was on the list, grabbing the 100th spot, a position that Forbes has always reserved for a figure with a non-traditional image of power who has helped to define the year. Uh, Barbie, Barbie uh, certainly helped define a, a lot of women's abilities and beliefs that they can do anything in this world they want to do. Yeah. But that list is, is, is you know, it, it's a great list, great women, but at the same time, there's so many people, I'm sure, that are making great contributions Absolutely. who didn't even get a chance to make that list. 100%, for sure. Yeah, yeah especially on the local level. Yeah.